Hello, my name is Alvaro Martinez, Product Manager for Application Server and Device Integration Offerings within System Platform. Today I want to present to you a few more reasons to convince you to upgrade to Wonderware System Platform 2014 R2. 2014 R2 is a very feature-rich release. In case you haven't seen 2014 R2 highlights, you may want to watch those first. Although this is a very feature-rich release, I want to ensure that you are aware that we have even more benefits. Patch 01 for System Platform 2014 R2 is more than a typical patch. As part of releasing a patch, a major component of the theme of the patch is stability. We want to make sure that you can upgrade with confidence. The patch is now available to download from the Wonderware Global Customer Support site under the Product Hub section. It is important to know that as part of every patch, we have a set of resolved issues, specifically hot fixes from both current and previous versions that are included in the release. Make sure you take a look at the readme file for those details. Also, we do some other uh, improvements. In this case, we focus a little bit on the backend stability, specifically the orchestra service bus related services. We reduce the runtime memory profile. And as it is important, for the security of our product, we roll up security improvements uh, in, in, the, in the releases. Make sure you check the security improvements under the GCS Security Central Portal for more details. I mentioned that this is not a typical patch, and in the release of 2014 R2, one of the key aspects of the release was simplification. With the feature of IO Auto Assignment, where we showcased how we can provide a lot of power simplification and efficiency by introducing the feature of uh, IO auto assignment. Let's look at this a little bit closer. And the key here was to ensure that the reference attribute of, uh, of the uh, attribute being defined could be defined automatically based on the hierarchical namespace of the objects. One key part to this is that this was uh, specifically and purposely limited to the attributes tab introduced in 2014 R2 because we wanted to drive simplicity and we also wanted to drive standardization. Now we realize that uh, a lot of the uh, design of galaxies uses the field attributes which could not leverage this functionality. So in, with this patch we have enhanced the existing release to give you uh, more functionality to help you leverage the power of this feature. We have added a way to convert the legacy user-defined objects into attributes as seen here on the screen so that then you can start leveraging the power of uh, IO auto assignment and other features. As shown here on the screen, on the top left, we show the tab field attributes that you would have in the case uh, that you have converted or migrated in a previous galaxy. Here we show how we have two examples of motor and valve that have uh, been created as field attributes. If you were to use the conversion utility, then these field attributes are converted into the modern attributes, and then you can leverage those features such as IO auto assignment. Furthermore, if you had been leveraging scripting for automating the IO referencing of your objects, we actually convert those scripts as shown here that are specifically related to the input and output referencing of field attributes. They get converted to the new attributes. So this gives you the power of being able to leverage the functionality but also simplifying the attributes uh, into a consolidated namespace. Furthermore, we're also using the patch to complete functionality related to standards protection, specifically intellectual property protection. When we originally delivered this functionality of standards protection, we actually left a little bit uh, behind in terms of functionality. We did not protect the scripts. As part of this release, we're actually completing such functionality. So we're leveraging the protection of templates when you export a template as protected, such that if that specific script is locked, 
then it will be exported as protected and you will not see the script in the destination galaxy when you import that script as protected. All the functionality of the script will still be there, but it will be hidden from the destination user. This wraps up the highlights of what's new in Patch 1 for Application Server 2014R2. Please ensure to continue to tune into our Wonderware HMI SCADA YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so by following the icon. Thanks for watching.